Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to determine the infinite limit, the limit as x approaches 1, of 2 minus x over x minus 1 squared. And so we have to split this up into the limit as x approaches 1 from the right and the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. So of these functions, 2 minus x over x minus 1 squared We have to plug these values into the function. Now, obviously, this isn't traditional fraction. But what we have to turn is we have to turn these values into other values that are representative of what we're actually doing here. So 2 minus 1 from the right. This means you're taking 2 and you're subtracting values of 1 that are slightly less, or sorry, slightly greater than 1. This means as that um, as this value gets closer and closer to 1, 2 minus 1 is what we're approaching, 1, and we're approaching it from the left. We are subtracting numbers that are slightly greater than 1, so we're getting numbers that are slightly less than 1. If you're adding, this would be 3, 2 plus 1, 3, also from the right. But since we're subtracting the 1, it's from the left. And here we have 1 from the right minus 1. So this is 0. And then since these values are slightly greater than 0, adding, taking something that's slightly, or sorry, slightly greater than 1 minus 1 means we're going to be slightly greater than 0. And you can basically see the difference here. If we are subtracting something that's approaching a value, the sign flips. If we are taking that value and subtracting it, or adding another number onto this, it stays the same. And this is, of course, squared. One from the left doesn't really matter, it's just one. And zero from the, um, from the right squared. Well, this is a positive number, so squaring it doesn't do anything. We're still approaching zero from the right. And a number divided by zero or rather numbers that are approaching zero is equal to infinity or negative infinity. And since this is a positive number divided by a positive number, it's positive infinity. Here we have two minus one from the left over one from the left minus one squared. Two minus one from the left, again, we're subtracting this number, so it flips. Two minus one is one from the right. And that makes sense. These numbers are slightly less than one. So two minus those numbers isn't going to quite get you all the way to 1, but it's going to be coming at it from the right, which is slightly greater than 1. 1 from the left minus 1. 1 from the left minus 1 is 0. And again, the sign stays the same. From the left, squared. Again, 1 from the left is just, or sorry, 1 from the right is just 1. It actually matters for 0 here. 0 from the left is a neg are negative numbers, but squaring them means we're going 0 to the right. And these is just a number divided by numbers approaching 0. Since they're both positive, it's infinity. And since from the right and the left, it's equal. The limit is equal to infinity.